International Space Agency. Special request. Inspector Willard Widgeon. Widgeon, get your feathers in here. Yes, Inspector Bufflehead? For reasons unknown to science, the head of mission control at the Canada Space Center at Cape Canaveral has personally requested you to solve an important case. Me, Inspector? It defies gravity, but you'll be briefed once you get there. And, Widgeon, dress casual, but try to keep your flippers on the ground this time. You can count on me, sir. No. I don't suppose you know anything about my mission? Sir, no, sir. Good friend. Auntie! There you are, Willard. I thought you'd never arrive. But what are you doing here? I'll tell you on the way to Mission Control. You won't believe this mystery, Willard. Don't tell me, Auntie. It's out of this world. You couldn't be more right. Willard, uh, meet Commander Goldeneye, head of Mission Control. It's a pleasure, Commander. The Commander asked me to investigate some missing top-secret papers, so I asked him to request my favorite nephew to come help quack the case. <laughs> I sure do appreciate you helping us out, Inspector. Is this you, Commander? I wasn't always a desk jockey. I gave up flying when I thought I saw a UFO. Hmm. Don't touch that! I mean, that's our G-Force accelerator. You'll have to try it. Best right outside the space shuttle. This is the crime scene, Willard. Everything is still the way Commander Goldeneye found it. I'm counting on your expertise for finding clues. I'm on the case! Ah! No sign of forced entry, Auntie! What's this, Commander? Uh, nothing. Uh, just a sketch of a prototype spacesuit for the new space station. Great Scott! Dr. Mandrake's security pass. How did that get in my safe? Mm. I've always said Willard has a nose for clues. I suggest we pay Dr. Mandrake a visit. Hello? 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 Dr. Mandrake? Oh, I thought you were signs of intelligent life in the universe. Sorry to disappoint you. I'm Willard Widgeon of the Swiss Police, and this is my auntie, Miss Mallard. We're here on special assignment. What is all of this? I search for extraterrestrial duck intelligence. I've spent my whole life trying to prove there's duck life out there. I've done a lot of reading on the subject. The idea of the possibility of life on other planets is very exciting. I can't wait for the day when we know for sure. Is this yours? I've been looking for that everywhere. I can't get into the Mission Control Canteen without it. And today's my favorite dessert, lime gelatin. We found your security card in Commander Goldeneye's office. Uh, do you know how it got there? No idea. I never go near his office and he doesn't come near mine. Remember to get new string for security pass. I can't remember a thing without my voice recorder. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to send another message. It's hard to imagine Dr. Mandrake masterminding a robbery. I think he's very clever. That voice gizmo's a great idea. I'm gonna get one, too. So if I ever get an idea, I'll remember it. It's too late to turn back. We must go ahead as planned. Uh, Miss Mallard, uh, Inspector Widgeon, I, I didn't see you there. Meet uh, Commander Scott Scoter of the Space Shuttle Quacker. Your rendezvous in space with the new orbiting space station will make history. <laughs> I'm just part of the team. And what a team. How's the uh, mission going, Commander? Everything is A-OK. -okay. All systems go. Lift off minus two days and counting. Then we won't keep you. There's lots to do before blast off. You know, Commander, I always wanted to be an astronaut. 
Except I'm afraid of heights. Oops. I forgot my knitting bag. I'll go fetch it. First sabotage, and now this. I can't allow you to contaminate my crew with chicken pox. You're grounded. You know, Auntie, these security passes have gotten us into every part of Mission Control, and we still haven't found a clue. They are around, Willard. Keep your eyes peeled. Hello again. Remember us? Uh, it's not the same guard, Willard. What I can't understand is how anyone stole the papers in the first place. Security around here is tighter than back at headquarters. Oh, the G-Force Accelerator! Commander Goldeneye did say I should try it out. Auntie, I found something. Denra Nib Eva Oi. It's a message. What language is that? It's alien to me too, Willard. Documents. Willard said security is so tight, he couldn't see how anyone stole the papers in the first place. And when he said things weren't lining up, I remembered the crooked picture on your wall. The documents never left this office. You're too good, Miss Millard. But why would you steal your own papers? These papers were simply a ploy to get us snooping around. You wanted us to meet Dr. Mandrake and find the strange message. But why? So we would learn about the aliens, Willard. Aliens from outer space. The new orbiting space station is in grave danger. Everything was going according to schedule until sabotage here at Mission Control threatened to scrap the shuttle launch. At the same time, our Mount Duckmore Observatory intercepted this message from deep space. <laughs> then the boys at the lab slowed it down. No, <gasps> Aliens! The boys in the lab have turned this message inside out trying to decipher it. They should have tried turning it back to front, Commander. It's backwards. Stop building your space station, or it will be destroyed. You have been warned. Shoot me into orbit. We got to convince the aliens our attentions are peaceful before blast off. This mysterious intruder has been seen around mission control. He's managed to slip through our fingers, but I'm sure he won't elude the world's greatest detectives. You could have saved a lot of time by telling us the truth, Commander. I didn't know what else to do, Miss Mallard. If I'd called you about alien sabotage, you'd have thought me quackier than Dr. Mandrake. Follow me, Willard. The future of space exploration is in our hands. We're going to have to be careful, Auntie. Who knows who's in cahoots with the aliens? As far as anyone else is concerned, we're still looking for missing papers. Commander Goldeneye's rules may still be of use. Which rules is that again, Auntie? That's the spirit, Willard. I know someone who can help us find the alien. Breaking and entering is the sort of thing we usually solve. I'm sure Dr. Mandrake won't mind us using his equipment in the name of science. All we have to do is reset his equipment to search for aliens a bit closer to home. Whoa! What are you doing? 
are you doing here? No, need that way. It's the alien! Impossible! It's impossible! It's not coming from deep space, but right under our very feet here at Mission Control. All this time, he's been searching for aliens in the wrong place. We're right under Dr. Mandrake's lab. The alien must be in there. <gasps> this is one small step for a duck, one giant leap for duck kind. It's some kind of alien transmitter. It certainly looks that way. The alien couldn't have gotten far. Quick, Auntie, before he gets away. However, things aren't always what they seem. Have you seen an inspector with the Swiss police pass by? Ma'am, no ma'am. I'd be most grateful if you spoke in... Uh, Complete sentences? What's in there? Nothing, ma'am. That lab closed due to budget cuts to pay for the new space station. Thank you. You've been most helpful. That alien must have disappeared into thin air. Maybe this is some kind of alien transporter. Dr. Mandrake will know for sure. Lights, check. Backup systems, check. Danger! Gotcha! Commander Scooter? We chased an alien on board. We think he's trying to sabotage the ship. Alien, you say? No one messes with my ship. Let me at him! Ah! Dr. Mandrick, what are you doing here? And why the butterfly net? I thought I saw an alien trying to sabotage the quacker. I was trying to capture him. Ten. Nine. You did see an alien, eight, and he's taken control of the ship. Seven, Not on my watch. That alien six, fiend's overridden the override. Prepare for blast off. Four. It looks like your dream of becoming an astronaut is going to come true, Willard. Whoa. The Space Shuttle Quacker. Do you read? We have a problem. The alien sabotaged the radio. We're on our own. You know, Dr. Mandrake, if we ever get out of this, you're going to be famous as the duck who made first contact. I'll be happy so long as our two worlds can live in peace. <laughs> <laughs> the autopilot is docking with the space station. Please put your seats in the upright position. an enjoyable flight. Why aren't we floating, Commander? There's no gravity in space. The space station makes its own gravity by spinning. We'll try the space station's radio to contact mission control. Whoa, careful, buddy. That's the auto-destruct button. The shutoff sequence is Alpha, Charlie, Tango, Tango, Tango. Anything else and kaboom! Take a note. Auto destruct shutoff sequence. The shutoff sequence is Alpha, Charlie, Tango. What are those spots? <gasps> Chicken pox! You must have caught them from the astronaut who grounded at Mission Control. I overheard your conversation as I retrieved my knitting bag. Horrors! Who knows what will happen if the alien comes into contact with chicken pox? Everyone exposed must be quarantined, unless they've had it at some point in their lives, like me. Who ever heard of a duck getting chicken pox? I remember you had it when you were a young duckling. Oh, how you itched and scratched. 
I too have had it, but that was long ago. So we're not at risk of infecting the alien, but then... <gasps> you, Dr. Mandrake, and I are on our own on this space station. <laughs> Dr. Mandrake! Commander Scooter, what happened? I don't know. It, it all happened so fast. Something knocked me over. An alien feather! Andy, the alien has ducknapped Dr. Mandrake! Commander Scoter, ready the quacker for re-entry to Earth's atmosphere. Willard, we're going to search the space station. in the airlock. An alien mask? Oh, gross! Aliens shed their skin? No, Willard. This proves... <gasps> oh. 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 My goodness! yarn when I get back to Earth. Oh, thank you, Willard. That was most helpful. Now, let's see if we can find Dr. Mandrake. Dr. Mandrake? What happened to the alien? Thank heavens you found me. He escaped in a waiting spaceship. This space station will self-destruct in two minutes. The alien pushed the auto-destruct button before he escaped. Into the quacker before it's too late. I'm sure there's something we can do to stop it. This space station will self-destruct in one minute. There's no time. We've got to go. Now, what was the auto-destruct shutoff sequence? Uh, was it two tangos or three? Destruct sequence deactivated. Have a nice day. Well done, Auntie. You saved the space station. Well done, Willard. You solved the mystery. Commander Scooter is in quarantine, but he has confirmed much of your story. There's proof aliens exist. I'll see Dr. Mandrake's research gets all the funding he needs. Huh? Boulder Dash, the alien is a fake. Auntie, you must be suffering from space sickness. We all saw it. I'm afraid you've seen only what you wanted to see, or what some clever villain wanted you to see. You have been so excited by the prospect of the existence of aliens that you couldn't see the truth. At first, I thought a disgruntled crew member or a jealous flight commander might be behind the hoax. But then I discovered the real motive, cutbacks. The orbiting space station costs so much money, smaller projects were on the chopping block. Isn't that right, Dr. Mandrake? Or should I say, mysterious alien? Auntie, you don't mean Dr. Mandrake is really a space alien? No, Willard. I mean the space alien was Dr. Mandrake all along, and you gave me the clue I needed to prove it. Dr. Mandrake pushed the self-destruct button to try and finally rid himself of the space station. He then planned for us all to escape safely. But he didn't count on us trying to stop the space station from exploding. And when Willard used Dr. Mandrake's tape machine to find the self-destruct deactivation code, I knew I'd heard the sound somewhere before. It was when Commander Goldeneye first played the alien warning. <laughs> He 
recorded the alien message on his small recorder, then broadcast it at high speed and backwards. You mean Dr. Mandrake was responsible for the sabotage? But, Auntie, we saw the alien. I'm sorry, Willard. Dr. Mandrake counted on ducks like you and Commander Goldeneye believing in aliens for his scheme to work. He very nearly fooled me, too, until I realized it's just as easy to hit the playback button as the record button. Dr. Mandrake wasn't listening for alien signals. He was sending them. Without aliens, he'd lose his funding. What about the green slime? Lime gelatin dessert, as the canteen cook showed me. That's what convinced me we were dealing with something more down to earth. Dr. Mandrake did say it was his favorite. And the escaping spaceship? Shooting stars hit the Earth's atmosphere all the time, Willard. Next time, I'll try to see more than just what I want to see. Dr. Mandrake, you're under arrest. You won't catch me! Whoa, whoa! Oh. Thirty years of research cutbacks to put a tin can into space? Oh, I should have blown up that space station when I had the chance! You'll regret this! There is intelligent duck life in space! Sure there is. Always knew he was Quackers. <laughs>